Welcome back to Status, and today we are going to talk about a new wash method. I've kind of teased this in a couple videos. Should you be using a wash pad or should you be using a microfiber towel? Or maybe you should be using a lot of microfiber towels. In just about every video I've filmed for a very, very long time, I have showed you one of these guys. If you've done a detail here, you've picked your car up from me and I've probably shown you one of these. And this has kind of been the standard for washing for quite a while for me. The problem that I feel like is possible when you're using something like this, even when you have grit guards and a wash and a rinse bucket and all that, is when you wash a very, very dirty car, I've only got two sides. So when this side gets dirty, I rub this into the grit guard and then I'll use this side and then I'll alternate back and forth. And that is a very good system, but what if I had more than just two sides? We're gonna use Gion Bathe for our soap today. And this has hot water in it. I totally eyeballed that. I have no idea how much soap that was. If I had to guess, it was over four ounces. Give that a little shake. All right, so you can see we have single, multiple towels in here. I tried to show you putting that in, but camera wasn't recording, so all the towels were in the bucket here. We just need to shoot some foam in there. I just want this to be real, real soapy because there's no reason for these not to be soapy, even though we're gonna foam the car. So I'm just gonna foam all this. Just to be clear, if you have two or three wash pads like these that you like, you can keep using them in this method. You're only gonna use them two times though. So you're gonna put this in this bucket. You're gonna use this side on the hood, this side on the roof, and then it goes here and you don't pull it back out until you rinse it out and clean it and like dry it. There is a lot to cover in a video like this. So this video is going to strictly talk about the wash process regarding the new towels, like the microfiber towels. I have another video coming soon that's going to talk about like the ultimate perfect wash process on how you should be washing your car from beginning to end. This video, like I said, is gonna talk strictly about just how we use these microfiber towels in this new process. And I might go and do uh, specifics once or twice, but we're focusing on towels here. I'm mentioning this because I don't want people to go crazy in the comments and say that we didn't do a pre-foam, that we didn't do a proper rinse, or we didn't do this or that, or we didn't use these products. We're, we're not showing any of that. That's why we're, sh we're gonna show all that stuff in the other video. Having said all that, we are, like I just said, going to show some of the steps. So you do wanna foam the car. That's, that's still a very important thing to do. We're using multiple towels. Um, which is a great way to do this because it's going to mitigate scratching and all that stuff, but you, you absolutely still want to foam the car, so I want to at least put that in this video so we all have an understanding of how you would basically start. Once the car is foamed, we can grab our microfiber towels and we can actually start doing the like friction agitation part of the wash. So this is the upper part of the car, the back side. This is not a very dirty part of the car and we're only using one side here. So in a second, you'll see I'm going to flip the towel over. Now I'm using a totally clean side and we're starting on the door now. So this side of the towel has never touched the car. The side that just touched the back of the car will never touch the car again, okay? So I, it doesn't matter how you wash. You can start from the bottom of the car up. You can start from the dirtiest parts to the cleanest parts. It doesn't matter because every side of your towel will only touch the car one time. So now we're doing the fender now. This side of the towel has never touched the car before. So if there was a bunch of bug guts on the front here that we had removed in previous steps and there was still some residue, typically with a wash pad, we would wanna avoid some of this stuff until the end of the wash. And this process, doesn't matter. The towel is always clean when it's touching the car and it's always going to pick up that residue one way or another. So it's not like we're going to spread that residue to another part of the car because we're always flipping. So you can see we had four sides there. We're flipping the towel now and we're getting four new clean sides, which was giving us eight total sides to one towel to wash the car. Now you can even start getting really uh, creative here if you're washing something very dirty. For example, I could wash the bumper in two pieces. I could do the left half of the bumper with one side of the towel, flip it, and then do the right side. You can do it as many times as you feel is necessary if you are washing a very, very dirty car or if you feel like the towel is building up with dirt really, really quickly. This is something we just flat out can't do with a wash mitt and we could, you know, 
put the wash mitt back into the rinse bucket, rinse it out, go back to the wash bucket, get soapy suds, go back in, but ultimately that wash pad will hold on to some of the dirt. Now when you're cleaning something really, really dirty, like the diffuser for example, we can actually use a spare towel. This is just one of my Kirkland towels. It was clean and brand new, but I would rather use something like this that's literally on the bottom of the car. It's something someone will never really see. We're not really super concerned about throw marks, but even if we were, we're still using a clean towel. The point is we want to make these blue towels, which are very, very nice, stay clean longer, and we want them to last a very long time. Now, when the wash is done, I want you guys to take your pressure washer and I want you to do what you're seeing on the screen here. You're gonna blow all of the dirt out of the towel. It's gonna make the towels look absolutely perfect. And then you can basically dry them in the drying machine or you can kind of line dry them. Um, you can wring a lot of water out, of course, and then basically line dry or throw in the, in, in the drying machine. Now it's important to note that you can also use, for example, two towels, just two blue towels instead of buying a bunch. Start on the hood and then once the hood is clean, use it as like a washboard. So once I use all four sides of my towel, put the towel back on the hood, pressure wash the towel out as I'm doing right now, and then go back to the car and keep going. This is a slightly more time consuming thing and I don't really wanna stop doing the wash midway through, especially if it's hot outside. So this is why I would recommend you have like four, five, six towels and just have a bunch of sides to do the whole car in one shot. But this is a notable way to do it if you only wanted to buy one or two towels. Also, you can technically do this with a wash pad. So if you wash the hood, for example, first, you could just keep rinsing out your wash pad on the hood and then keep going through this process, kind of like we mentioned. Like I said earlier, we're not gonna go super into process here, but once you have rinsed the wash pads out, which is gonna blow soap all over the place, once that's done, then you can finish rinsing the entire car because you don't wanna rinse the car, then blow the pad, the, you know, the, the microfibers out because you're gonna blow soap back over the whole thing. So don't, don't do it that way. Once the wash process is over and we're fully rinsed, then you can apply any protection you want. I love hydro and wet coat, and uh, we'll show that going on in a second, but you can see the car is beading water pretty well, but we can make it bead better than this. So on this application, we are using CarPro Hydro. Use a couple sprays and put that on, and then you can see it kind of turns that little milky white color and mixes with the car. I like to rinse once or twice, and then I do a really, really long rinse after that. And then sometimes I'll even apply it two times actually and uh, you can just see the water beading here is really, really nice. Now you can see the water beading is really, really strong, really incredible, really tight water beads. And this car previously had ceramic on it, so now this is just rebonding to that and making it look really, really nice. The reason we like using hydro and wet coat so much, especially in this wash process, that we went out of our way to use so many towels to make sure we didn't scratch this car, was because it makes the car so hydrophobic in the end. Even if you have a ceramic coating, it refreshes it, and that's all very, very important because it makes the drying phase so easy. The two most common times to scratch your car when you're washing it and when you're drying it. So if we're drying with air and we're washing with all these towels, we're basically mitigating a lot of problems, and that's kind of your sneak peek to that video that I mentioned about the ultimate wash process that's coming in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you're interested in this kind of content or if you want more of this because I got a ton of this stuff coming. I will make a fuller video on the full process, start to finish of what I recommend to like have a no swirl wash. This was strictly just talking about the new wash process of using multiple microfiber towels and not necessarily using a wash pad anymore. This felt like it needed its own video, so a fuller video is coming. If you're interested in that, definitely subscribe. It's, it's in the works. I think as of right now filming this, I have 10 videos waiting for editing, so like I said, lots of videos coming. See you guys in the next video real soon.